Did you just spill the secret? It was on purpose so you guys could see what's inside. Wrap the secret back up. Hey everyone, we asked some of our local friends what are their favorite places to eat here in Vegas. Hi, what's your favorite place to eat in Las Vegas? I like Chinatown. Anything in Chinatown is really delicious. I think it's called barbecue chicken. Excellent in the Shanghai Plaza. On the strip, it's gonna be the most beloved Hell's Kitchen and then X Pot, which is fine dining hot pot. Highly recommend. And then for a local restaurant, it's gonna be Valencian Gold, which is Spanish tapas. Hi, what's your favorite place to eat in Las Vegas? Probably I would say Baja Miguel's at South Point. I do love their paleo and they have amazing strawberry margaritas. Pretty much everything you get there is great. And they have guacamole, uh, salsa, and chips and beans. Their beans are amazing. For a steakhouse, I really like Oscars at the Plaza Hotel or I like SW Steakhouse, which is at the Wynn. Their filet mignon and mashed potatoes are great. So one of my favorite places or steakhouses, I'm a meat lover. I love the restaurant called Golden Steer. It's actually on Sahara and Las Vegas Boulevard. One of the oldest steakhouses in Las Vegas. You gotta try the tomahawk. That's one of my favorite places. My favorite place to eat in Las Vegas is the taco stand. I love that place because it makes the carne asada burritos. Oh my God, so good. It's one of the best places to eat. I would Where recommend it. Okay, I would say Border Grill, Mon Ami Gabi, and Gorilla Pizza. What do you like to get from there? So at Gorilla Pizza, they have an amazing pepperoni pizza. Border Grill, it's bottom Mexican brunch, plus their mimosas, of course. And for one amiga B, their salmon benedict. Perfect, thank you so much. Chubby cattle for a hot pot is really good. It's like Chinese, Mongolian hot pot. All the meats are really good. The broth is amazing. And the other one is Papa Noodles. It's one of my favorites when I'm like craving a Hainan chicken rice or they have a really good pork wonton soup noodle dish. It's so good. Hi, what's your favorite place to eat in Las Vegas? I really love Raku, which is a Japanese izakaya. Oh, you can't go wrong with the Lotus of Siam. They just opened a new location over on Flamingo and the original is on Sahara. What do you like to get from there? I eat everything because it's all small hapa style. So we order a lot of everything. But I do like the omikase, which is the chef's choice and they'll put together a tasting menu for you. Yum. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, anytime. As you can see, there's a wide variety of answers of local favorites here. We decided to check out Border Grill because one, it's on the strip, and two, there's a wide variety of food here. Let's check it out. We're here at Border Grill. It's in Mandalay Bay. I heard they had some great brunch. Oh, I could see that now. Let's see. I'm gonna start with the avocado salmon toast. Mm. Some avocado toast with some extra crunch. I think I like this too. Take a bite. It's really good. I like it. <laughs> one more or you want to put it down? Oh, one more. Okay. Next one we have is the drunken Peruvian toast. I wonder why it's called drunken. Everything in Vegas is drunken. <laughs> Except for me. Mm -hmm. That's like a dessert. Let's move on to the chilaquiles. Mm. This takes me back to that breakfast that we had in Mexico. So good. We have the spicy chicken tamale. This is interesting. I don't know how this will taste like really. Oh, I was like, oh shoot. They get too much spice, but that's like mostly in the middle. So I got a good amount of spice. Spicy chicken is pretty good. But I'm like getting a little full. Yeah. You're like one and a half dish in. Because <laughs> I ate beforehand. Manchego cheese biscuit and gravy. And it has bacon on it too. Oh, that looks good. <laughs> I stayed quiet as long as I could. This one broke my silence. Sorry about my cameraman. Mm. Those bacon pieces are very crispy. And the biscuits, they're so soft. Broad chicken time. I thought this was beef at first because of the color. But look at the many of these chicken. Broad chicken. It's good. It's spicy. That's why it's called Diablo. Okay, next one is the Yucas Bravas. Oh, they're very crispy. The outside layer is pretty thick. If you like soggy fries, you'll like these. Last one, bacon egg. Ooh, beautiful. Oh, this is gonna be a big bite. Honestly, came in thinking like, we'll just get a sandwich because this place is so good, I gotta try it. But wow, this place is outdoing itself. That is some good steak. Very tender, very soft. Hi, I'm Ben, I'm the cameraman. <laughs> It's here. 
here. This is the rest of the brunch menu. And actually, we have two extra items here. The burnt and burrito. This is from Barbecue Mexicana, which is the sister restaurant right across from here. And there's also the secret item. I think this is probably one of the most famous burrito here in Vegas. Oh! Oh, oh no! I'm not wasting a bit. So good. Definitely not your average burrito. I'm no barbecue meat expert, but this is definitely high quality barbecue meat. I never knew I was a burrito guy. And I think slowly I'm learning that I'm really into burrito and taco nights. I never understand why people go so crazy for Taco Tuesday, but now I get it. This is the sauce that they brought out. I'm just kind of gonna give it a little dab. I feel like the sauce is not even coming through from the burrito because of how smoky and rich the meat is. Overall, it's really good. So let's start with the chef's secret pancake. Every so often they have different pancakes. So today it is strawberry, blueberry, cinnamon. So fluffy. Cinnamon has a nice touch to it. This is the green corn tamale. I'll help you out. Thank you very much. Multi-purpose cameraman. Mmm, <laughs> this one is sweet. I'm liking this a lot. It's cold. Peruvian shrimp and grits. The shrimp is good. Mm -hmm. I'm having a little bit of food coma now. So many dishes, so I'm gonna have Ben help me with this. Hi, cameraman here. So right here we have a short rib hash and egg dish. I think what makes this one is actually the sauce. These are called lobster cachapas. It looks like pancakes. It is like a soggy pancake. <laughs> Next one is a campechana. It's not a dessert. It's like a shrimp taco without the tortilla and a lot of sauce. Mm. Can't find another shrimp. There's one shrimp in there. Sorry, and I you ate, ate it. it. I thought there was more. These are churro tots. They're churros with raspberry sauce. And when I saw this on the menu, I was like, I gotta try this one. I thought they were cow testicles. What? It's because they're not oysters. They're bull testicles. Mmm, they're churro balls with a lot of brown sugar on it and the raspberry sauce gives it extra sweetness. This is a good dessert. This one is the prickly pear chia parfait. It's so cute. I think it's the cutest dish here. Mmm, I like this dessert. I'm finishing this. Going out with a bang. But actually, we have one more dish. It's called secret item. Guys, this is actually not part of the 14 items on the brunch menu. But since you watched this video, you know there's a secret item. Let's see what today's is. Oh, okay, so it looks like it's kind of like steak and egg. Oh! She just spilled a secret. It was on purpose so you guys could see what's inside. Wrap the secret back up. Oh gosh. Guys. Um. That's a thick crepe. Cameraman gotta eat too. The crepe has a little sweetness to it, and there's savory eggs and meat inside, and the sauce on top of it makes it really interesting. Your mind's gonna start wondering what it is once you try this dish. That was a great spot for a brunch buffet. However, there are so many more restaurants here to try. I'm gonna check them out now. Peace!